logistical reasons for both of us. Yeah. The car wasn't 100% uh, ready from Bombardier, yeah. and the way the car is being brought onto property, yeah. and do you know the facility at uh, Bathurst and DuPont? I've seen it. I may have walked by it. Right. Yeah. So in the back, there, it's all streetcar. There's rail in the in the yard there. Okay. So that um, what there's a, a, a I can't speak all of a sudden. Yeah. A train line that runs parallel to the property. Right. My understanding is that they're going to build a temporary ramp right up to the uh, right up to the train. So when the car uh, it comes in pieces on the on a bed of a flatbed of a, a train, right. it can be rolled off oh. through that wow. through that parking lot or whatever the gravel that's there, yeah. and into the yard. Okay. We're not ready to do that yet. Okay. And this is uh, sort of like a stopgap measure as well. They're going to continue to use this yard for servicing uh, the new fleet, but right now they need something more immediate than Ashbridge's Bay. Right. So they can, we can work on on the new, like uh, low floor vehicle. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So probably within a year or so. We'll yeah, you, you you'll see a new car. You'll you should see a new car that's scheduled to be seen this year. They're accessible. Absolutely, they're 100 percent accessible. So, like I said, they, all the equipment's now on the roof, right? right? Because of the necessity to have the floor low, so you can bring on people with wheelchairs, strollers. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. So you know, the big differences you'll see between uh, the new car and the old cars is one, the new car has four articulated sections. So there'll be three more of these things in the car. And the car is about the size of an ALRB plus another half. So it's much bigger than this car. The commission has ordered uh, 205 of the new cars. We're going to replace the entire fleet with this new streetcar. Because the car is, has so many articulated spots, there's no issue with getting around bends. And if you know the streetcar system in the city of Toronto, there are some tight bends. The commission has had problems before with certain cars making it around bends, but because it's articulated, we're good. Also, the new car will be all proof of payment. So basically, you'll you'll board the you'll stand at a stop, you'll buy a ticket from a machine. All the doors will open when you board the, when you get to the stop. You get on you get on board the car. You won't even see the operator. If the operator section of the new car is entirely closed. It's a, it's a door. There's no access to the operator. If you want to speak to the operator, you have to push a button. Which were the cars that were in service? The CLRB. The ALRB is newer than the CLRB, the unarticulated That one right there. The CCs came out of regular service in 1988. That was the last time we had them in regular service. You can still see a PCC on the harbor front on Sundays. They'll, they'll keep, they like to get them out in the summertime. PCC will run on the harbor front route on a Sunday afternoon for a couple of hours. Just uh, sort of like a PR thing. Uh, there's two of them left in the, uh, at the commission. We have two PCCs left. We sold all our PCCs to Egypt and San Francisco. San, you can still go to San Francisco and see PCCs. Uh, they are still painted in TTC colors. They're on one of their streetcar lines. Don't ask me what happened to the Egyptian. There's the other car, the really special car. That the really neat thing about today is you get to see a Peter Witt. So a Peter Witt was uh, the car that was in service in the 1920s. The particular version you're going to see today was built in 1923. It's really a museum piece. It's meticulously maintained. The commission hardly ever brings it out. Uh, I would say, on average, it comes out once a year, maybe twice a year. Uh, it, it's in every Labor Day parade. Uh, they used it in the Russell Crowe film, uh, Cinderella Man. It, it's, you, you just don't see this car, built in 1923. It's the one in the middle. And there's also uh, a big mock-up, or not a big mock-up, but like a five-foot long uh, mock-up of a new streetcar. So you get a, a, a model of a new streetcar to look at as well. You can also walk into the car house and you can see a little bit of the, what's going on. And when you want to get back on the streetcar, just 
I got all 
water because water on rocks will be rocks on the wheels. So you don't make that at all. I know. Okay. 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 Yeah, thank you. Have a good day.